Hello, Inspirators. How y'all doing today? Well, mine is fairly well. My Sunday afternoon is fairly well. I hope you guys are the same. But um, I was just thinking how wonderful it is to be, you know, still able to serve Jehovah God, you know, regardless of what we're going through. And it reminds me of Psalms chapter 7, verse 1 and 2, how he still, it kind of reminds me how he still is here to protect us, regardless of, of this pandemic going on and everything. So I, I just was thinking about that, and I just thought I'd share that with you all, so before I start the video off. But uh, I am here on Second Thoughts to let you all see how I make my cheese ball and my cheese log. So I have two things going on today. And one will be for my sister, which is also a subscriber. So it's a subscriber's uh, request. So this will be done in a minute. So let us all just get started, okay? Y'all come on and join in with me and take the stroll with me on it. I have sliced in half. Um, four to five strips of bacon and I have drained the fat. Here I also have four eight ounce packages of cream cheese. I will also be adding paprika and that would be one tablespoon of paprika. I will be eyeballing this recipe so to my eyeball it is one tablespoon and following that paprika would be two teaspoons of peppercorn. And don't you guys forget that this recipe is a double recipe, so you can divide this recipe and single out this recipe. Following along is the mild cheddar cheese. I have a cup of mild cheddar cheese. Followed by Parmesan shaved cheese. Also have here ranch season dressing and it has already been opened and half has already been used so I am using half of this package which be would be followed by half of the other package and I will save the rest for la for last. So that means that it is a package of ranch dressing season. I also have my green onions and my celery leaves. And you can estimate that to your own option. But I have a tablespoon worth of both. Okay, here we are. We have almonds, crushed, half sliced, and half crushed. And we also have pecans, crushed pecans. And I also have my bacon bits that I snapped up into bits. Here's my pan that I will be using. And I also have a tablespoon of sugar. Followed by 
one tablespoon of ranch dressing in the package. We're gonna pour all of these into the pan. Put all of our mix into the pan. seasoning. I'm going to gorge it up with my hands into a mix. This is a fabulous recipe you guys. It really is. Okay now I have gotten a sheet of saran wrap and I am wrapping my ball, my cheese ball, into a to form a ball shape. We're going to wrap it and store it in the fridge for at least an hour. And I'm also going to do the same with my cheese log. Two sheets of saran wrap underneath the bottom and on to top. And I will form the shape of a log into this cheese ball. And they both will be in the fridge for at least an hour to reform his farmer tea shape. Okay, here we go, you all. The fun part is here. Here we go. Feel like I'm playing with Play-Doh now, you guys. And rocks. <laughs> but we're gonna put our, we're gonna toss all our nuts around the cheese ball. Toss all of that goodness around that cheese ball. We got to give that cheese ball some skin, don't we? We got to give that cheese ball some skin. All right. All right. Okay. Here's the finishing effects of the cheese ball. And this is my sister's cheese ball, you guys. And she better come before I eat it up. Isn't that just gorgeous, though? This could really set, set a party off, you guys. This could really set off a party. And I have my log here with my crackers and grapes. And these two elegant party trays can really set off a party. And, and you know what? Don't forget your wine. Don't forget your wine. And those grapes just, just really burst off a pleasant taste in your mouth with that cheese. But you know what, you guys? Once again, I hope you all enjoyed this recipe. Once again, I want to thank you all for taking a stroll just to see how everything goes when living with me. <laughs>